Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. As always, as usual, as you know. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Sometime I'm gonna get a better tackle. I don't fucking know. I start my videos and try to end my videos the same way. But anyway, today, um, yeah, I don't know. Just another day in the fall of Western civilization and just blatant racism against white people because, you know, fuck us, we're white. So, just the way it is. But uh, today, we're looking at a Ben Shapiro video. I don't know. All you damn conspiracy theorists end up being right. What's the difference between a conspiracy theorist and the truth? Or what's <laughs> a couple months? And, yeah, the Department of Energy came out and said they think, and I think the FBI said that, like, in 2021, I think, that they, there's a high chance or a good chance that it came from the Wuhan Virology Lab. So, all of you people that were censored and silenced, I'm not going over that part of this video today, even though it's definitely weird. I mean, if you watch the Ben Shapiro show, it pisses you off, like, the first, like, 20 minutes of uh, his show today. Talking about how Fauci was even told, like, yeah, this looks engineered. It doesn't look like it's... And he was like, well, that's not what you need to know. And in fact, we need to censor that and silence people. And, you know, and then the government got involved in, you know, silencing Americans and telling Twitter, the Twitter files. I wonder what the YouTube files look like. I'm sure they exist. I mean, they do. Elon, buy YouTube. They're like, that could never happen. Could never happen. Really, if Elon just, like, makes Twitter, like, more, like, friendly than YouTube where I can upload videos and shit, I will leave you. Fuck YouTube, dude. You motherfuckers censor me all the goddamn time over bullshit. But all of you should feel justified that, uh, I don't know, the government is now saying, yeah, it probably came from uh, the Wuhan Virology Lab. Uh, at least one department. Okay, so... And also, I just want to play this because this is great. This lady does a great job. She she <laughs> raise your hand if you breathe air. But seriously, Ben, we gotta get this impersonation like a little more on point here, okay? First of all, you're getting too squealy and you're getting too happy. Kamala starts off deep. She starts off deep and low and slow. So it's something like <laughs> <laughs> This is great. I love this. She goes into it. She's not born with it. So try again. And don't be afraid to get like your body into it like she does. Do you notice like at when she gets to that maniacal level of laughter, I call it like a nine because I don't think we've seen Kamala like at a ten. I don't think we want to, but we get it like at a nine. Yeah. And then she throws hands in. So you see how that first clip that I stitched, she was like her hands were kind of flailing at the same time, so she was like, <laughs> something. It was beautiful. Right. One more time. One more time. Air. <laughs> but seriously, Ben, we got to get this impersonation like a little more on point here. You know okay? what? You First earned of all, you're a getting fucking... too squealy and you're getting too happy. Kamala starts off deep. She starts off deep and low and slow. <laughs> So it's something like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like she goes into the maniac. She goes into it. She's not born with it. So try again. And don't be afraid to get like your body into it. Like she does. Do you notice like at when she gets to that maniacal level of laughter, I call it like a nine. Cause I don't think we've seen Kamala like at a 10. I don't think we want to, but we get it like at a nine and then she throws hands in. So you see how that first clip that I stitched, she was like, her hands were kind of flailing at the same time, so she was like, <laughs> like that. "Well played, ma'am. Yeah, right. Well done. <laughs> that was great. Sorry, sorry. I could. I just. You should see that. So there you go. You could get to see it now. I'd probably get to see an ad. We'll see. It's a slogan, and so they're hearing that as a responsive slogan. That is sort of racist in intent. Now again. Oh yeah, this is a uh, Dilbert. Uh, Adam. His name is get canceled. Like, my name is Adam. But anyway, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, he, I actually think this might be, like, a master move by him somehow. I don't think he'll get uncanceled, but he, he'll make a point. Like, he probably said everything that he said intentionally, 
like using the word black instead of white. Like, uh, I don't know. I feel like he's up to something. I feel like he did this intentionally and uh, he knew what the outcome would be and he's making a point. But we'll see. We'll see. Because he did say it in the stupidest way possible, but I think he intentionally said it in the stupid way possible. And his Ben goes over. Let, yeah, let's let Ben have the floor. I think that they're divining too much in the question. It's okay to be white. But that, that is a plausible read. That people oh, yeah. Okay. And he was opining on the idea that like 26% of black Americans in this poll that was done uh, think that it's not okay to be white. And then there was like another 26% that didn't know. And only 53% of people in the poll, black people said it's okay to be white. So it's kind of weird. Could you imagine if those roles were reversed? I don't know. They're not like if white people, like 26% of white people were like, no, it's not okay to be black. And then another like 22% said they don't know. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, what they, what they are thinking is it's a weird superior. world that okay, we fine. live in. That isn't is it? Read. Bottom line, though, is if those poll numbers are representative, at least a quarter of black Americans think it's not okay to be white, right? That would be the actual converse of it's okay to be white, which is disturbing. Because if you had 26% of white Americans saying it's not okay to be black, that would be incredibly disturbing and super problematic. And it would spell, you know, some real problems in our public. So Scott, uh, so Scott Adams decided to go off on it, but the way that he went off on it was in the dumbest possible way. So here was Scott Adams talking. Who was it really? I don't know. I think he's making a point, but I don't know. Got this. Nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll. Not according to me. According to this poll. Uh, that's a hate group. That's a hate group. And I don't want to have anything to do with them. And <laughs> I would say, you know, replace black with white, the way though. Things are going. This is like pretty much how the media talks every day. People, about. Is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the f away. Get, where, wherever you have to go, just get away. Oh, that's really terrible. <laughs> that's a really terrible racist thing to say. That based on this poll, you should just run away from all black people. Now, here is the thing. Here's the thing. You can agree with that. Also, agree with that's a terrible racist thing to say. Also, if you replace every word that says black in that sentence with white in that sentence, the mainstream media will not only cheer you, they will give you an op-ed slot yeah, in the New York Times. That's right. Herein lies a major problem in American society. We we'll get to that major problem momentarily first. Simple fact in the matter of 100% <laughs> just an enormous amount of pain. You're all going to die. Is, epic will are a hate group seems to be what he is saying there. And that, that seems to be what he is saying, that there's a poll and it shows yeah. that only 53% of black Americans think it's okay to be white which means 47% of black Americans think it's not okay to be white. And so there's a direct quote, quote, if nearly half of all blacks are not okay with white people, according to this poll, that's a hate group. That's a hate group. I don't want anything to do with them. And just to clarify, he can. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I actually want to get to what he plays later. Like you get the point. Yeah. That's crazy. That, like if that poll is at all accurate, it's like, damn, bro. <laughs> it's not even okay to be white. Uh yeah, the identity politics in this country is spiraling out of control, has been for a while, and it's encouraged. This quick game is useful because, as we'll discuss in just a moment, the left is totally fine with racism, so long as it actually is coming from one particular group against another. Yeah, group well, you got to be attacking white people, obviously, and whiteness, like that fucking Indian dude I did a video on. Yeah, dude, these people, <laughs> they say they're anti-racist, but it's just... I don't know. Oh, this diversity is great. You want to know why there are so many people in America who believe that it's okay to be racist against white people? It's because of the media's treatment of these particular issues. Okay, so here is, we're going to just read Scott Adams' full quote here. And we're going to read his entire quote. Yeah. Based on... Um, I don't know. I, I, I already pointed this out. People. But, uh... If it were about black people, white people are not okay with black people. The best thing you can do is get away from the white people. That person is now speaking on major college campuses. That person is being given op-ed slots over at the New York Times. That person is being given a Hulu deal. Yeah, this goes without saying. racism in the United States, like, there is, in fact, a massive double standard. Some of us believe racism is bad across the board, and then others of us on the left 
We tend to believe that racism is okay, so long as that racism is being performed by people who are not white against people who are white. I'm gonna give you just a quick example. So there's a video that's going around. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm called- fucking sick of it. <laughs> like, uh, especially the fucking foreigners. That doesn't piss me off more than anything when you're a foreigner. Like, I don't know, dude. Like, black people being racist. I don't. I don't know, man. I. I don't know too many black people. Like, I get along with the ones I do know. Like, I don't. I don't know, man. I never really. I mean, not that I never, but like, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't. I get along with fucking everybody. Like, but there are like a lot of things I've seen black people. I've seen black people say a lot of things that if I were to say them, it's like, <laughs> dude, think about your job, homie. Um, there is this double standard um, when it comes to like what is considered racist and what like minorities can get away with and, and the punishment and abuse and, you know, the die programs and diversity, inclusion and equity programs that are just pushed in schools and. I don't know, all these institutions and in the workplace and just, yeah, it's rather annoying. I'd rather not hear it. And, uh, it's just the norm, right? It's like, I don't know. It's just, it's a thing. Yeah. These double standards are a thing and, uh, you should be aware of them. White people. Yeah, I did burn that bitch to the ground. You watch that video too. The, vice panel marxist the asians okay the cut the longer one i watch it is pretty website. good dude actually i was and, like um, has to do with it, it, it's it's um it's an aspect of new york magazine okay so like, i forget i make videos and the, the people like comment on them or i like realize it's, it's like wow well, this one's got a bunch of likes like, huh? and like i don't even remember it making very that often deals with i do remember making that minority bit, like, issues they put together a video the video yeah this is what i wanted to get to asked a bunch of non-white people what are white people superior at? yeah again Reverse the races, and this is the most racist video, according to the left, ever made. What are black people superior at, right? Listen to the answers that these people of color give. And this is considered not only perfectly okay, but insightful. Yeah. Insightful. No, yeah. (laughs) These people are, uh, this is wisdom. (laughs) This is what these people think of you. This is what, like, a lot of people think of you. They don't know you. They don't care. These people have a... a racist Marxist ideology. It's based on oppressor and oppressed, but it's like based on your race or your gender. And it's just, you know, the bourgeoisie versus the proletariat, except like broken down into um, non-economic, non-capitalist, like just race and gender and social cancer is what this is. And uh, listen to these fucking people. Damn, dude, like, Tell me black people ain't racist. After watching this video, I think all black people are racist and I should avoid them. I think I should avoid them because this is how, the, no, the 26% of them, apparently. Knowledge, their own preconceived notions and biases. They have I'm to joking, look inside obviously. themselves for their own flaws. They have to do the work. This video is just pure racism. It is just pure unbridled racism against white people. That's all this video is. Yeah, like Here we go. Ben, it's quite calm. Superior at. <laughs> They're real good at violence. Violence, genocide. It's like stealing people. Uh, that's funny. I'm sorry. D- how many of them said violence? Like white people are really good at violence. I mean, I guess we are. I mean, if you want to talk about like military might, technology, the fucking, you know, <laughs> bomb the fuck out of motherfuckers. I mean, I guess if that's what they mean. But like, coming from like a bunch of black people, that uh, violence is what. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I kind of think you guys are like the kings of uh, violence in this country. What would you think? You probably already know. You watch my videos. But, you know, some of you don't. So what do you think? The black population in the United States is 13% of the population. What do you think the uh, murder rate is where uh, the perpetrator is black in this country? What percentage of the murders, all murders in the country are perpetrated by black people, even when they're 13% of the population. Come on. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, one and a half. You can't Google it. You probably already Googled it. 53% of all murders in the United States are perpetrated by black 
uh, people, mainly men, but you know, 53%, they're 13% of the population. Um, you want to talk about like interracial uh, crime or interracial vi violence? Because I don't think they do. And people are like, this is mean. This is racist. You're saying the black people like disproportionately commit a bunch of crimes. And they'll be like, well, why? And it's like, I don't care. Could you just acknowledge that's the case? I don't know. These people talking about white people, the best thing. They're, what are they good at? Violence? Okay. You want to have that argument? You want to you have that discussion? I don't think you do. But, you know, fuck all us white people. We're supposed to take this on the chin. Treat these people like retarded children. <laughs> white people. Eh, fuck, fuck all these fucking... Damn, like, I... Well, I don't know. I mean, I'll insult people. If they want to go down this road, they want to... Shit, dude, I'm down. Like, you, you want to have the conversation about Thanks. violence and crime in the United States? Huh? Wouldn't it be nice if, like, no, like, this is their perspective. Like, white people shouldn't exist, right? So let me just take the same perspective and, you know, not be serious about it. But wouldn't it be nice if, like, 53% of the mergers in the United States just didn't happen? Or, like, I don't know, 40% of the robberies and armed robberies didn't happen. Because, I don't know, these people didn't exist. Do you see, like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to get canceled one day. I'm going the way of fucking Adam. My name's Adam too. Like Dilbert. Yeah. So there you go. Fucking <laughs> goodbye, everyone. This is the end of my life. So, but let's continue the video in the meantime. You are white and you know this is happening and you say nothing and you're a killer too. What is that? Yeah, like? fuck you. And um, also, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. It's just weird. Like, are they just punking us? Are, are they serious? Insecurity? Pretending? Fear. Being a fearful of nothing. Being ignorant. Blame. I'll take that one. Fearful of nothing? Okay. Superior at being dicks. What exactly are Superior at being dicks? Okay. Um, I don't know why you're talking about white people's dicks, but, you know. I always heard black people had bigger dicks, but, I mean, I guess she's fucking debunked that. You see what I did there? Yeah. I don't know. This shit is just... This is pretty racist, right? Like, I mean, I will talk shit, but not in the sense of, like... Well, I don't know. You watch my videos. People would probably say that I'm racist. I'm really not racist, dude. I don't care what color you are. I don't give a fuck. Like, but when these people want to attack white people and they want to use this Marxist shit, I will totally... You want to play the identity politics game? You want to play the bad race bad game nah i don't think you do and i'm gonna be there to be like kick you in your face and curb stomp you that's what i need to get a, a gif that i need to play from time to time of uh yeah the american history x curb stomp superior at oppression gaslighting lack of empathy intellectualizing gaslighting oppression. Did you say oppression? And, what like, exactly are white people listen to how retarded these this is like just a rapid fucking fire retardation coming at me i'm like trying to oh, oh shit what that retard and this retard are fucking jesus christ <laughs> but this is what they think of you white people white people they talk like these fucking people there's <laughs> and not all black people again i'm not like i'm just saying like a certain section of these i'm not even saying like the left and these people of color are they really do think this about you like, I have never met anyone in my life that had said such a thing about black people. Like, I've heard people, like, make arguments and bitch and, you know, like, me, myself, I will call out the abhorrent behavior going on in the black community. But I don't, like, do it, like, just because they're black. It's like, no, it's a social thing. But I've never heard a white person speak this way of uh, fucking black people. Like, ever. I've never heard it. And people watch my, well, kind of, you kind of point out the crime and shit. Yeah, but all the shit I'm saying is true. Like, all, everything I say is true. Is it racist if it's true? That's the question, is it? No, it's just racist, huh? No, dude. Like, these people are really racist. Like, I wouldn't treat this dude differently. And I wouldn't say this about, like, black people. Like, if you were to ask me to say something 
what are black people best at? I wouldn't say it's like violence. I mean, I would to, if if I was talking to some social justice nut job just to piss them off, you know. But I don't know. It's just the double standard. And I actually think that uh, that Dilbert guy, he's actually trying to make a point. See if he gets his career back. I fucking doubt it. You're at. Taking what's not there. Taking sh Taking our ideas. Copycat. Gentrification. Appropriating things that do not belong to them. Like, I think the dude is too smart to have just said that. And, like, meant it. I feel like Ben had a point. Yeah, if you reverse the races and everything he said, then he would be a hero. And he got canceled. I, I, I don't know, dude. That's just a theory. Putting it out there. But these racists, taking over other these real cultures. racists, and making you believe taking that it, other it. people's cultures. I'm sorry, are those glasses on your head, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's funny how like um, this is a thing. It's like every aspect of like getting on an airplane or driving on a road. Like I don't know. How is that not appropriation of white culture? People are like that's racist. Yeah, but how? Like, I'm just making like what? Because white people sometimes have dreadlocks. Is that what you're like? Oh, the appropriation. Okay. Damn, I'm vulgar. I'm mean, people. I am mean. But fuck these people. These people need to burn. Fuck them. Bunch of goddamn racists against my people, my white people, white people. That's my people. You want to talk shit? No, I don't really care. Um, my woman's Hispanic, so... got to put a baby in there. We'll just tell the kid he's white. We'll be like, yeah. It was a joke. <laughs> I'm funnier than you. I'm funnier than everyone, Mandy. Not you. I was, I was talking to the audience, not you. Mandy, like, for a woman, is pretty funny, which is, like, rare, right? <laughs> Fucking... But she's, like... She's like amazing. You guys, you guys are fucking losing out because you don't have a man in your life. It's like recycle and repurpose. As my grandma would say, the white folk, they'll take it if you don't copyright. Okay, so just to go through Fuck this, those so white TV folks. Video, guys, this is super funny. There's a bunch of people of color talking about white folks. What are white people the best at? It turns out white people are just sheer garbage. They're just the worst people in the entire universe. Yeah, and that's all you need to know. That's all you fucking need to know. That's what they think of you. That's what you are. And, um, yeah, Ben Shapiro. Uh, man, I want to do a lot. I, I have work and shit. I'm off tomorrow, so I'll do some videos that, I, like, I don't have time to make. But, uh, uh, fuck. What a weird fucking, like, world we live in. Like, who trusts the institutions? Who trusts the government? Who trusts, like, any of these fucking people? When you hear what happened... Well, I didn't even cover that. I'll cover that tomorrow. Another video. Anthony Fauci and fucking... Yeah. How he, like, was warned. Yeah, the other pro People were saying, yeah, this looks engineered. It looked like it came out of a god... It was man-made. And Can I even say that? Can I say that now? Can I say it now that the fucking Department of Energy, Energy fucking said it? YouTube? I don't fucking... YouTube video would probably get taken down but i just used the wrong word so we'll see if this video stays up uh anyway i hope all of you are having a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video thank you bye have a good one